What up, YouTube fans, fellow Cowboys fans? Just want to say, um, I'm sorry I've been out for the past several weeks since the 49er prediction and thoughts and everything, but I'm back. Um, just missing making videos. Um, I'm just been lacking, but it's all good. Now, the dismantle of the um, of the Buffalo Bills was the probably the the best accomplishment we had so far to the, you know the season so far. I just hope that we can keep this momentum going on and on and on until we you know get to what we need to get to. That's the Super Bowl. Now, enough about what happens. Let's talk about Hate Week. The Washington Dead Skins. I mean, they, the way they started, everybody was saying they could, they the real deal and this and that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's been a fraud. A straight fraud. I mean, this sucks. Straight up. Um, but, you know, the last time we played them, it was just a field goal game. I mean, we... Dan Bailey, he, he won us the game. I mean, our defense played played pretty good in that game. Our offense just couldn't punch in over the goal line. But, you know, a win is a win. Especially against a rival, an NFC East rival like the Redskins. I mean, that's that's a team that, you know, any, any, any NFC East team that you play, you have to beat them. Now, to my man... Simon, this is 1974, to my man, hater proof. I'm down for it, whatever y'all say, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? True Blue Dallas Cowboy fan for life, you know what I'm saying? Um, great videos y'all putting up, man. I enjoy every single video y'all put up. It, it makes me, it makes my day. Just keep bringing them out, man. Um, we're going we're gonna to smash some dead skins at dead, dead, you know, dead X field. Well, I shall say, fat ass, fat ass field. <laughs> you know, um, cause there's nothing but hogs dressed up in skirts over there in, in, um, in Landover or Bend Over, Maryland. Cause they will be getting bent over, over in Maryland. They don't even play in D.C. They play in Maryland. I mean, ain't Baltimore, the Ravens play in the state of Maryland? That's, you know... That, that you know, I thought you know, you know, but it's all good. But anyway, point is this: dead skins, you're gonna get smashed pretty bad. I would say maybe a 30-point win. Y'all might score a touchdown, maybe two, maybe just 10 points. Maybe y'all might not score at all. Depends on if Romo, you know, if he becomes the, the Romo of old of, you know, making the mistakes and bobble snap and all that stuff against Seattle or whatever, which I don't think he will because the guy's healthy for the first time in several weeks. I don't see y'all really um, beating us. Um, that's a matter of how many points we can put up against you guys. To all the dead skin fans out there, um, you know, the ones that admiring the videos that my, you know, my fellow Cowboys making and stuff like that, knowing that we're right and then y'all belong down the wine cellar or, or shall I say, the basement along with the the Philadelphia Sheagles. I admire y'all for that. You know, at least y'all have common sense, you know. But anyway, back to the game. I think DeMarco Murray going to have almost 200 yards. I'm, it's a possibility. 200 yards. Um, Romo will probably throw for like 300 yards, maybe three touchdowns. Um, Murray will score a touchdown. Uh, Des Bryant, I expect him having a big game against Dan D'Angelo Hall, the, the the shit talker. He, you know, this guy, he talks so much shit, and he's trying to be physical with Des Bryant, but Des Bryant always shows him up all the time. You know, let him know that he's not a punk. You know, D'Angelo, man, just Whatever you do, man, just just stop what you're doing. Stop trying to, you know, scare this guy or whatever because you cannot scare him, you know. Um, I saw that as to it. Um, 
Brian Arakpo, um, you know, maybe if he can stay off the Geico and, then th and the, the caveman um, commercials and everything like that, maybe the Redskins will probably do a little better on defense. I'm just saying, you know, um, defense suck. Offense suck. The so-called cowboy killer Santana Moss, he's not playing because he broke his little pretty hands. You know, I mean, you got Tony Romo. He played with a broken rib. I mean, the guy is constantly getting contact by every team that is. And he's still out there playing. A broken hand? I mean, come on, man. Suck it up, pussy. But anyway, um, like I said, I, you know, I, I can't predict the score, but I just know that we're going to blow him out by more than 30 points. It's going to be a nice whooping from hell. I mean, the dead skin is going to get a whooping they haven't had in a long time because the running game is going. The defense is coming along with the turnovers. Romo is not making mistakes. And, and, and special teams. So, you can read in the week. You can go, you know, ESPN, NFL Network, um, Google, um, whatever website, whatever TV network you watch, it doesn't matter. The Cowboys is going to get in that ass on Sunday, and we all know it. We know it to the full, and we know it, and we know it, and we know it. That's all I got to say. You guys have a wonderful day. Go Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys for life. That's all I got to say.